Yo, what's up, it's your boy Fell here. Welcome back to Crusaders Quest. And finally, finally, we are gonna be starting the Beginner's Guide for CQ 2022. So, of course, first thing off, we gotta put our username. So, I'm gonna try and put uh, the uh, YouTube's full name in there, but I don't think it's gonna fit. Yeah, I think it just cuts off that. Oh, okay. Fearless Gaming. That's I think that's good enough. And no one's taken it yet, so yeah, that's always nice. So we shall go with this name. So I had to uh, restart a new account just to get some uh, footage for this. So yeah, there's only part one, so we will do a part two. So in the very beginning, it's mostly just the tutorial, so it'll tell you what to do. But um, yeah, the first time you go to the town, you can check out the events of what's going on. Weekly events and the polls. So the first thing you gotta do is have a look at the bonuses that you can get for a brand new player. So this attendance reward for 14 days gives us a lot of good stuff. So we got two guaranteed premium contract there, tons of gems even books as well and dungeon keys and support uh, what do you call it bonus sort of level up so every time you level up or reach a, a, a new level you get a uh, free stuff so it's actually a selection so hero selection ticket so we shall have a look at that one in probably part number two because I gotta reach level 25 for that one it's quite easy to level up so it won't take long and we still got this uh, 30 days I think so every day it, it'll unlock from the day you log in um, or create your account so we got 31 days I think to uh, finish this so it's basically just playing the game most of it so it's gonna follow it and get some free stuff as well so it helps a lot daily login of course you get the free stuff in there as well so the very first thing is always check the events because I don't think there is an actual limit or level requirement for it, so always check the events first, guys. So join the event. It's uh, mostly for just the participation rewards, so don't worry so much about, um, you know, being the top player or contributing as much, because we just started, obviously, so we, don't, we can't really do much. But yeah, just join it, have a look at it, because yeah, it gives you a lot of free stuff. And of course, check your mail. We do get the uh, patch notes in here, so it'll be there for a while. And we already get some free stuff for leveling up just by doing the uh, tutorial. And of course, a free reward because every time you level up a brand new hero, you get one free gem. So yeah. And we also get yeah, we already got a free hero straight up. So level three, reaching level three, you get I think new yeah. So she's a decent healer for a beginning, so you could just use her if you don't have any other um, healer in your party. And of course you've only got Leon. And let's have a look at the shop. So I always recommend people to have a look at the free area. So you do get 10 promotional hero contracts every day. So there's a chance to get a 4 star for this one, guys. So yeah, it's quite low, but you know. We'll take what we can get at the moment. So your first goal would be to just collect as many heroes no. as you can. Like that's that's the very main one in the very beginning. It is a gacha game, but yeah. We'll get the lower levels first and we'll try and get the higher levels later on. So Yeah, every day it resets, so try and get ten. Level them up to uh, max whatever star they are, and you get the free gems with it, so yeah. And you can just get all these other ones if you want, but it's up to you. And of course, we can't do any pulls yet because we don't have anything. We can't even get the uh, support hero. So I got nothing in there. I've only got 4,000 gold. So we've only got Leon of Light, Narspy, and Mew. So these ones we can't even level them up because we don't have any honor. Which we can get from the dungeon, but then the dungeon is locked, so yeah. It tells you which uh, stage you gotta clear to unlock these stages, so. We'll try and see which one we can do 
for this uh, part one. So the very first one is we're gonna try to unlock the dungeon, just the main one. We don't worry about anything else, just the dungeon. So in the beginning, all we can do is the story mode. So we just gotta do the quest and try and unlock as much as we can. It's really easy, um, and we already got tons of meat, so we got 641 meat, so... Yeah, we don't have to worry too much about the meat, so we can just keep playing for a while. So I'm just gonna try and use the 4-star heroes. Just use any 4-star heroes. And yeah, it's mostly the... the yeah, the very beginning is just the story. Just follow the story of um, what's happening. And it'll guide you on what to do. And all the different mechanics for it. So I'm just gonna sort of skip the story so that I don't wanna spoil too much. So, yeah, I'll just go through the stages. So everyone's level 1, of course. And of course, Leon is a, a 3 chain hero, so we'll try and use 3 chain. And uh, this is the tutorial to use the skill, the special skill. So every time their mana or SP is full, they can use a special skill. So really cool. And that's the first boss done. Easy peasy. So yeah, we saved that guy and he's going back home. And we are, yeah, level 8 straight up. <laughs> Look at that XP. And these Bridget points, guys, save the Bridget points. Don't spend any of it. And on the quest board, we've actually got a lot of quests. Uh, most of it is just tutorial, so just follow it. Um, it tells you what to do. Just basically visiting different areas of the game. And by leveling up, we just, we, yeah, we'll, we can pretty much do uh, pulls straight up. So we'll just do some pulls straight up. <laughs> Puller Hunter, that's alright. We'll take whoever at the moment. Oh, we actually get a premium contract from this. Oh, who could it be? Pumpkin City. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. That's actually really lucky. Lilith is the uh, mage, uh, mage class um, hero that we really need. Because she unlocks the mage duplication jutsu. So that's actually, wow, that's really lucky. And we, get, we do get guarantee um, premium heroes as well, so we'll actually open those up. So yeah, look at this, all the free stuff. So we already got some tons of bread because we need that. But yeah, four star guarantee, and who could it be? Oh, Pumpkin City again. Okay, Alice, which is not too bad. I'll um, level her up to uh, six stars later on to get some free gems. And for the uh, Paladin, who do we get? It's Hector. I think there's actually not too bad. He can be useful early game. And we'll also open the golden box from the attendants. So we just put whatever weapon. Because we uh, haven't unlocked the uh, soul bond weapon yet, guys. So in the early game, you just collect what you can. And we do get Archon for free by completing the first... Uh, what do you call it? Story mode. So yeah, really cool. Archon's actually really good. He was my main DPS in the uh, f original account. And we shall open up for the warrior guarantee in his Eastern Kingdom. Oh, okay. Beast Warden. It's not bad. So you can probably use him. And once you unlock the Colosseum, let's try and uh, use some of your Colosseum tickets. Just to uh, have a look what's going on. So you get tickets every two hours for the recharge. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about Colosseum for now. But this is a great way to uh, get some free gems later on. Once we've uh, exhausted our um, our heroes. But for now, we just focus mainly on the uh, story mode. But we'll do uh, one fight. So we'll uh, fight some really low level. Isuna is available right now in the pool, so I really want to do a pool for her, but I'm not sure if I'll have time to do it. Because I'm still doing the edits for this, so... We'll see. I'll do a quick pool, hopefully. So yeah, in the early, early game, 
It's uh, really dependent on your stars. So it's just a robo guy mostly. And yeah, we can't kill this guy at the moment. So I'll try and level up some more. I'm doing the story. So yeah, we can't beat him for now. That's alright. But yeah, you do get five tickets every day, guys, or it recharges every two hours. So yeah, I would try and climb up to the uh, master rank if I can for that one. And once you unlock the dungeon, the very important one is the honor points um, dungeon. I wouldn't worry too much about the other ones, the goblin um, storage or the food. I'll just mainly focus on uh, getting honor points because we do need it to uh, promote our heroes. So our aim for now is to get to 6 stars. So it's really easy. Um, even the low level uh, heroes that we've got, you can uh, easily do it. Just do the highest level you can for this one, doesn't really matter. And um, if you need more dungeon keys, you can we can buy them using the free uh, <laughs> free points or free gems that we get. So they're actually really generous with this one. Really, really generous with the changes for dungeon keys. But yeah, this is the very last boss, and yeah, I was able to uh, beat him. It took me about a minute to beat him up, but yeah. We got enough um, honor points to level up some heroes. Easy as that. So now we can actually uh, promote some heroes. So yeah, keep just keep doing the story to try and unlock everything. And then once we get some honor points, then we can actually yeah level up. And as for the skill, so this is the skill that we needed the Spirit of Mana magic duplication so you need five star lilith night queen lilith which we actually <laughs> yeah we we're very lucky to uh, pull for her so we can unlock that one and actually now that we're here it tells you the um, heroes that you need to unlock specific things so yeah we'll just unlock this one we'll grab it so that was actually really lucky because, um, yeah, she's one of the main um, skills that we need. But yeah, for the next level up, we need to 10 different wizards. So we're gonna just gonna collect more heroes. But we should have enough by the time we uh, do some free ones as well. So just 10 different ones, so we're almost there. Um, but yeah, and for the priest, the really important one is this resurrection skill which we need nightingale um, but yeah let's have a look at the different classes of what they need so for the warrior class we'll want to get the spirit of vengeance which we need devil vivian to unlock and for the paladin class there's quite a few that i like i like the light grace so we're gonna get five different paladin for this one so that's quite easy to unlock this the shield which is really cool we need achilles and the uh, Thorn of Vengeance, which we just need five different um, paladins, so it's not too bad. For the Archer skill, we want to get the Rapid Firing Soul, which we need Arona. So we're trying to get that, hopefully, soon. And for the Gunner, we want to unlock the Deadly Soul, which we need Disguised Maid Tia. And of course, we already got Lilith for the Spirit of Mana Duplication Jutsu for the Wizards. So I'll try and use this one. I will most likely use Archon just to uh, level them up and finish the story in the early game. And of course, Nightingale for the uh, for the Priest. So yeah, that's the uh, main heroes, guys, to uh, aim for for your uh, class skills unlock. Now for the weapon, you just give them whatever, really. It doesn't really matter. Till we unlock the uh, soulbound weapons for them. So, just give them the uh, low level stars. You can upgrade them. Don't worry about spending. Don't spend any of the, your budget points. Because you'll need that later on. So just take what you can for now. Yeah, crit damage. Yeah, whatever. We'll use it. 
same with Hector, we just give him the uh, hammer. And of course the mage for Archon, I really like Archon. He's, uh, he or she actually is really good um, early game hero. Unless we get someone new. Um, but yeah, level 25 we do get a hero selection ticket, so... We've also got a bunch of coupons that we're gonna use later on as well, guys, so... I've got a list in my channel if you wanna check it out. I think Carolan N has expired though. I don't think it's or, um, still valid, so... But yeah. So we'll keep the attendance up. We get the support bonus for leveling up. Growth spurt quest for the daily. So... Just complete any of these ones as you go along. And you get some good stuff. Get some bread which we need, some dungeon keys. So yeah, really good. And we actually got some free premium contracts. So every time you get a premium contract, guys, just open it up. To see what you um, see what you get. But yeah, we got tons of um, stuff here. 40 jewel, Bridget points, gold, meat. So you won't have a shortage shortage of meat, guys. We got we well, yeah we got tons of meat. But yeah, we got Izuna at the moment for the uh, premium. So I'll try and aim to get 50 and um, yeah, do a pull for her because I really like her. Just good for PVE and uh, Colosseum as well. Even Himiko, Kaguya, Momotaro, they're all good for um, early game. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that one, guys. So we'll try and yeah, this uh, unlock the champions later on. But of course, they are all tied up to the story. So for now, we'll try and get stronger by leveling up to six stars, and that should carry us through to the uh, later stages of the game. But yeah, just grab what we can for now and level them up. Thank you so much for watching captains hopefully you guys are having fun and yeah we shall do a part two after this one i'll just keep leveling up to level 25 and yeah we should get a free four star selection uh, ticket so we shall decide who we get for that one thank you so much captains for your unyielding support as always and welcome to all the brand new subscribers Thank you so much for this subscription, guys. Really appreciate it. I shall see you all next time. Stay safe out there. And wear your mask when you're outside. Also, don't forget to wash your hands. I shall see you all in part number two. And, yeah, we shall do a illustration video for the uh, Paladin real soon. Stay tuned for that, guys. I shall see you all next time. Bye-bye.